four lovely girls, three hunky fellas, one gorgeous picker, who just happens to be Mikey from Boy Band Fix. With £10,000 up for grabs, can Mikey fix it for Gemma, or Eileen, or Kerry, or Nia? Time for some more fooling around. It's the first day in the apartment, and here's how the game works. This week, Mikey will spend all day and all night with four lovely lasses, who will say they're single. But three of them have boyfriends who are living next door, watching their every move. From what they see on screen, they must coach their girlfriends to convince Mikey that they're single in any way they can. Why? because they're all playing for a prize of £10,000. At the end of the week, if Mikey chooses the true single, then the pair of them walk away with 10 grand. But if he picks a girl who's pretending to be single, the couple walk away with the cash, and Mikey gets nothing. So how far will the boys allow their girls to go to prove they're single and win that money? Let's meet the couples and find out. Couple number one are Eileen and Neil. When we first met, it was working in the shop together. She thought I was a bit, a bit of all right. She looked up to the charm. With the other girls, I'm going to like play it quite cool. I'm going to be quite friendly and chatty, but underneath, I'm going to be backstabbing them. I can be quite jealous sometimes. Depending on what the picker looks like, if I feel he's better looking than me, I'll be jealous straight away. Eileen's ideal man, it's got to be uh, a Bram McFadden sort of bloke. I do like boy band boys. <laughs> Watch out, we're coming to get the 10 grand. So will Eileen's passion for boy bands win the heart of Mikey? Couple number two are Nia and Brad. Uh, Nia is very confident, doesn't get embarrassed about anything. Apart from when we first met and she spat slightly and she got really red and embarrassed. That was the only time really. Wow, he's a sexy little beggar. What I changed about Nia is um, the fact I wish she'd swallow. <laughs> um, we're going to win because we are great. I'm such a blagger. I'm a big liar. <laughs> Not a big liar, <laughs> just a little one. <laughs> so just how good a fibber is Nia? She's got four days to prove it. Couple number three are Kerry and Carl. We've been together a year and a half now and we actually met in a nightclub. I'll describe Kerry as an outgoing, bubbly. Books and blonde. <laughs> Carly's really laid back. He's really not the jealous type at all. <laughs> sometimes I have to question whether he actually loves me. Sometimes he's that laid back. <laughs> we've got our boundaries, we've got our limits. We've come into this show and we want to win the money. I think we've got a good chance of winning this game. I know how to use my own. What's the word? Attributes. Yeah, to impress people. Just how is Kerry going to use her attributes? We'll have to wait and see. So, strategies and boundaries clearly defined. But the boys have no idea who this week's picker is. Time to find out. Hi guys, I'm Mikey, I'm in a boy band called Fix, I'm a model, and this week I'm going to be fooling around with your girlfriends. No way. If you know anything about me and the band, you'll see that I don't really have a problem with taking most of my clothes off, I don't really have any boundaries, there's no rules, you're not here to stop me. My boundaries are your problem. I'm going into this house to have fun, spend time with four beautiful women, your women, and all you can do is watch. If I fancy one of the girls, um, I'm not really sure what I'll do, I'll probably push it as far as I can. And I just hope that when she comes back to you, she's not imagining me. <laughs> Guys, you might hate me by the end of this week, but you chose to put your girlfriend in here with me, and there's no way I'd put the girl I love in here. There's no escape, guys. Your days are numbered. Four days, four girls, foregone conclusion. Uh, 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 uh. 
So, not worried then? We'll see. Who is he? He's a boy band. Boy. He's in a boy band, yeah. yeah. Called uh, Fix. Fix. He used to oh, go out with a girl out of um, Girls Allowed. He used to go out with a blonde one. Um, Sarah, Sarah, I think, isn't it? Yeah, he yeah. went out with her. And I'm dreading that because... He seemed more pretty girlfriend. confident as well. He does, yeah. yeah. No, more girlfriend's sure. been told before, she looks like Sarah out of Girls Allowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. I, no, <laughs> that happens. It's, it's, we've been out before and been told she looks like her. <sighs> He's going to love this. But for now, the big question is, what will Mikey think of each of the girls? It's time to meet them. First to move into the apartment is Nia. Hi, I'm Nia. I'm Hello. a true single. Nope, she's fibbing. She's with boyfriend Brad. Next to meet Mikey is Eileen. Hi, I'm Eileen, and I'm the true single. Oh, come on, Eileen. You're with boyfriend Neil. Third up is Kerry. Hi, I'm Hello. Kerry. How are you? And I'm the true single. And no, her assets belong to someone else. Her boyfriend, Carl. And finally, Mikey meets Gemma. Hi, I'm Hello. Gemma and I'm Hello. the true single. She is the true single, but the question is, will Mikey work this out in time? I've been single for nearly a year now and I'm single because I'm a very fussy girl. My game plan is to basically be myself I think I've got the gift of the gab, so I think I'll be able to convince him that I'm single. My boundaries would just be to whatever I feel comfortable with at the particular time. I'm not prepared to look like a hoe on TV, definitely not. I will be very flirtatious, you know, because that's just me anyway. I'd be really worried having a true single like me in the house. Don't get too comfortable, girls. <laughs> Mikey fancies himself as a psychologist okay. and has set up an afternoon's counselling session to see who might slip up in the hands of a doctor. First to lie back in Mikey's therapy chair is Eileen. Boyfriend Neil can only watch as Eileen gives it her best shot. OK, don't be nervous. Yeah, Think of me if you're, as your sexual counsellor. I'm, I'm a trained doctor. So, you're single? Yeah. Why are you single? Because I'm a player. I just, I just like going out and having a laugh with my mates, really. I haven't really found the right guy yet. How long have you been single for? I haven't really had a proper boyfriend. What I could call a boyfriend. I've just had, like, flings and stuff like that. One night flings? Yeah, maybe. We should talk through this problem. One night stands are no good for your confidence. <laughs> you know so, when was your last fling? About two months ago. And where was that? It was in a nightclub. Wow. Well, actually, was... in the nightclub, was it? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Woo! Right, I'll see you in the toilet in five minutes. Um... <laughs> when I first walked through the door, I recognised Mikey straight away because I've seen him like play before live and I thought, oh, my God, he's really good looking. Uh, Eileen seemed the most nervous, I think. Her colour changed, her, her pulse went faster. She seemed very nervous. She wouldn't look at me in the eye. Every time she gave an answer, she looked up into the top of her head. So that just makes me think she's lying. Sit back and relax, Gemma. You haven't got a thing to worry about, right? OK, Gemma, what's your boyfriend's name? I haven't got a boyfriend. When did you last split with your ex-boyfriend? I've only had one serious boyfriend and I split with him about a year and a half ago, nearly now. Why did you split up? Because he was nasty to me. All men are nasty to me. Don't know why. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm going to help you through this. Good. Don't worry. <laughs> I think he is quite cute. Um, yeah, I suppose they do fancy him in a way. Gemma seemed quite honest. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, she seemed quite sweet. She held my eye contact better than the others. Uh, she seemed quite calm. She just seemed a little bit nervous, obviously, because of the situation. Mikey has raised his status to sex doctor <laughs> and gives Nia a lesson in love. Sit back. Be comfortable. I am. I'm chilled. But will Nia's performance leave boyfriend Brad dissatisfied? You know, you can tell me anything. I know. You know, I'm a professional sex therapist. Oh, good. You know, you have any Maybe problems. Maybe you can give me some sex education. Having any problems with, you know, orgasming, anything like that? Good, I could do with some good oh, orgasms. Okay. <laughs> I haven't had got... any for a while, been single and all that. Oh, well, yeah. Well, you know, if you're single and you're quite good looking, you know, why have you not been pulling any guys? These have, apparently. I only split up with somebody a few, like, just before Christmas. Really? So, yeah. Save by him a Christmas present. Exactly. Save your <laughs> money. Spend it on yourself. Let me just check you. 
See, all my friends told me to check pulses. Okay. They're all the same. Exactly the same. Here. Nia, I think, was, was too keen to say, oh, you know, I've, I've not got a boyfriend, you know, I'm not with anybody. And obviously she's going to do that, but she was a bit too kind of obviously trying to make me think a certain thing. I think I'm thinking I'm keeping my act quite well and playing it really cool. He's kind of, he just, he hasn't got a clue, basically. Lastly, bubbly blonde Kerry has her one-on-one -on -one session with Dr Mikey. Boyfriend Carl doesn't get jealous. Not yet, anyway. Are you OK? Oh, I'm fine. Are you sure? That's You're very cold in your hands. Oh, that's because I'm nervous. Why are you single? Just choose to be that way. Get to come and go as I please. I don't have the time for a boyfriend, so... If you could sum up a guy in... Well, guys, your impression of guys in three words, what would it be? Ignorant, self-centred. Ignorant and self-centred? Yeah. And but what's the third one? Charming when they need to be. I think Mikey's really cheeky, but I also think under that cheekiness he's going to be really clever. Kerry, I can't tell. I think she's very nervous, so I find it difficult to read whether she's nervous or, you know, telling the truth or whether she's lying. Well, do you know what? I thought I was, but... As I'm everyone sure. begins to wind down, Mikey decides to step up a gear. So you all are obviously going to tell me that she's got a boyfriend? We don't know. We've just met we don't know. Well, if you're single, she doesn't have a boyfriend. We don't know. Who's got a boyfriend, sorry? Yeah. Well, I think she's got a boyfriend. Well, you'd have to think she's got a boyfriend because you'd be single. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's two slip-ups there, ain't it? One by each of ours, then. They're not quick enough when they say some that. Coming up in part two, the boys bear all. <laughs> He's got funny nipples. <laughs> <laughs> For four days, hunky boy band singer Mikey is living with four girls, who have all told him that they're single. But three of them are lying. They have boyfriends watching every move from next door. Kerry is dating Carl. Eileen is loved up with Neil. And Nia goes out with Brad. At the end of the week, Mikey must decide which girl is lying and which is his true single. And that's Gemma. If he picks her, they both win a share of the £10,000 prize. But if he picks one of the girls who's pretending to be single, then she and her boyfriend walk away with the cash and Mikey gets nothing. True single Gemma has brought with her a toy that was given to her by an ex-boyfriend. Ooh, was that a smart move? Have you had this for a long time? Um, yeah. Who got it you? My ex-boyfriend. Why do you want to keep it if it's like yeah, from your ex-boyfriend? Because you it's really been bad. everywhere with me. What did he get it you for? I think it was for Christmas. If I was an ex-boyfriend and he treated me like a piece of shit, I would rip that off. I meant I the ex when it Yeah, but so Rex cute. has done nothing wrong. Yeah, it smells a bit funny. What do you do with this bear? <laughs> you need well, something you know. to cuddle as well when you're in here as well. So, so your ex-boyfriend gave it you, the one that treated you badly, and you still got it? Yeah, I'm, it not gonna, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie and say it wasn't because it was him that gave me it, but... You think it was for Christmas? I think it was for Christmas. I'm not too sure, I can't even remember. I was with him for two and a half years. Each day, Mikey plays games with the girls to help him work out who is the true single and who's faking it. But he can't resist telling the boyfriends what he's up to. Uh, we're going to play a game in a little bit where we're going to show them bodies, men's bodies, in fact, your bodies, and we're going to see how willing they are to judge you and criticise you. And uh, I'm sorry you have to watch it, but you do. Oh, what? Hope you're breathing in. So, will the girls give the game away as their boyfriends are paraded before their eyes? First up is Neil. So, Eileen, what score will you give your fella? How hairy is he? Get rid of the I hair. I don't like hairy men at all. That's gross. What about you? At least he didn't Same have a hairy shaving. back. <laughs> what do you think of him? A bit flabby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, look, have a taxi, please. <laughs> Mark's out of ten. Probably about four. Oh, never mind, Neil. It's all in the game. Second in the poser parade is Brad. 
Will girlfriend Nia keep up the lie? He's got boobs. Yeah. <laughs> he's got man breasts. I don't know. It's not bad I think he's quite fit. No, he's got a girl's waist. He's got Look that at his hair waist. At the top there. It's a pole vaulter's body. <laughs> so, what do you think? Better than the first. Mm, about a seven. At the moment, I think Nia is the, is the single one at the minute. I didn't think that at first. And I do think she's got a game plan because when she first came in, she was very kind of, oh, you know, we're going to go on holiday and this is the way it's going to be and I'm going to be all naughty with you and very, you know, but then she's completely changed now and seems very submissive and, you know, I'm quite intimidated by the whole thing. Um, got a bit of chest hair going on there. Obviously, like regrowth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he'd been doing traffic bikes a couple of weeks ago, obviously. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was all right, actually. If I saw that on Is that the beach. Is it's your boyfriend? No, not at all. If I saw that on the beach, I'd be like, oh, he's quite fit. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Gemma, I can't figure out now because I can't decide whether she's being kind of cute and innocent and flirty and, and, and telling me the truth or whether it's all an act and she's lying to me. Mm, eight out of ten. Good girl. You must like him. Well, I don't know what his face looks like. <laughs> Finally, can Kerry bluff her way through seeing boyfriend Carl on the big screen? So did you like anything? It was weird. I was one weird body. I think that Kerry, who was in the running for me for, for being a single, kind of gave a lot away in that when one particular body came up, she didn't react. And she was very willing to let everyone else do all the talking and she sat back. So uh, what did you like about that one? They got like quite good definition down there, but then... Flat so, is that the kind of guy you go for? Not really. He didn't look tall enough, he looked quite short. Well, how would you feel if you, he had a really good looking face and you pulled him and then you got him naked and that was underneath? Did the old chick turn the lights out? <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky cow. <Ooh. laughs> oh my god, what? He, he's just like weird. He was, the, he was the worst one. Whoever's going out of him, oh my god. Girls, come Maybe on. Maybe it's you and you're just trying to make me think it's No. Me. Oh, yeah. I thought he was that bad. The imagine, first one was pretty bad. No, imagine being in, like, in bed and just feeling like that square That's thing on his you. back. Ooh, harsh comments, girls. Eileen, she's laying it on thick about slating one of the bodies, well, quite most of the bodies, to be fair. Um, she's talking about how much she, you know, she doesn't want a boyfriend. I think she's, she's massively overdoing it. I, I just get a vibe off her that she's got a boyfriend. <laughs> I got quite a lot from that, actually, because when you were all watching the screen, I was watching all you, and I actually got quite a bit from that. <laughs>And can she be so cool in a one-on-one -on -one situation? I'd only be picked for the bedroom choice tonight because I think it's going to be in my best advantage to be picked on the last night to sort of like help my game plan a bit better. Or will it be Kerry, the buxom blonde who seems to be one of the front runners? Tonight I don't want to be chosen for the bedroom, in all honesty. I'd rather wait later on in the week. I want to get to know the girls and know which ones are strong strong personality ones and who's the strongest threat to me tonight then i think i'm going to take Gemma into the bedroom <laughs> cool see you girls Bye -bye. <laughs> see ya. as mikey leads Gemma to his bedroom the boyfriend's tv screen is switched off relief yeah, a bit. A little bit relieved, a yeah. little bit disappointed. But then, going into the bedroom doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean bugger all. It could work in our favour, isn't it? it? Yeah. 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 Might go in our favour. Right, let's get these beers. At least we can drink them and not worry.
While Eileen listens at the door, true single Gemma learns that she hasn't got the game sewn up just yet. You see, it was between you and Nia for the room tonight because, to be honest, I think Nia is the true single. The true single one, the true single one, and I'm not lying, I couldn't but lie. I can't figure you out, and that's the truth. I can't decide whether you're playing the kind of cool, innocent, you know, cute girl because it's the real thing, or because you're... What one. you see is what you get with me, seriously is. Why would you keep a dog of your ex-boyfriend's? Oh, I was going to say, why do I want a dog? Um, because literally I've slept with that ever since I've got it, and for the last year I've been on my own, or a year and a half, like, with that dog on my own. I think the person that's really good, because I know all three of them are lying, I think the person that's really, really good at lying and that is really, really going to challenge me is Kerry, definitely. But no, the thing is, though, I think uh, Kerry and Eileen are already hooking up. Let's wear our clothes. Let's wear our clothes and do a fashion <laughs> show. Come on. Come on, someone put on a clothes. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine for Christmas. They're very secretive, aren't they? I'm not bothered. I've got nothing to worry about. Girls always bitchy to me anyway. After an hour and a half in the bedroom, things are getting a bit more tactile. Massages are great. They're a weird thing, massages, because they kind of... Uh, Turn into something else. They can be. <laughs> While Gemma and Mikey get to know each other, the other girls aren't playing nicely and have ripped apart one of Gemma's tops. She may be wearing this beast again. <laughs> now, if I was your fella, I'd be going insane. You put your hands on another guy intimately. You're having nuts. Because when I, when I believe in someone enough to commit to them, then, you know, I'm, I'm in it for, you know, I'm in it 100%, you know, I want to... So I'm and it means everything to me, you know, it's like, you know, I'm not in it for the short term, I'm in it for the... For the That's why I haven't found anyone, because I think to myself, yeah, I can see me with you for, like, six months, but I can't see me with you for any me longer. Me personally, no, just No, just, like, some random guy. He's gone for because she's, like, cute and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up tomorrow, is the honeymoon over for Gemma and Mikey? Why are you having a talk? Because it's just frustrating, because I'm telling the truth. Yeah, but babe, it's a game. Yeah, of course I know. they're going to wind you up. They're all sat there going, yeah, we understand you're telling us the truth. Yeah, Let's all be friends. They wouldn't get anywhere, would they? Should I just sit and ask no questions, do nothing, not give any of you a hard time? And oh, just try for and God's sake, stop picking on me.